Hey, crafty cuties. Uh, I just finally found some Halloween scrapbooking stuff and some of the new Tim Holtz items. So we will go ahead and look through, see what we can find. I'm going to go kind of slow for you guys, hopefully. Okay, so let's see what they have. It looks like this stuff right now is buy one, get one, half off while I'm filming this, but this video might go up later than that, so lots of different washi tapes it looks like from Recollections. Let's just kind of go down the line here. Oh, these are cute. I like how playful those ones are. Super cute. I like those ones. Fun, fun. Ooh, this one's pretty. I really like this style for Halloween. Like florals, but still kind of creepy. I like that one a lot. I don't know why my camera keeps not focusing. I'm going to try, try that again real quick here. So what are these? Planner pack. It looks like they're like little sticker books maybe. I'm not quite sure, but those are cute. $6.99. And then these are $6.99 and these are little sticker books. So you can see they're full of a bunch of different stickers. Washies and things like that. I guess you could probably really use these in your planner um, or any kind of crafting thing, but I, th I think they're more meant for planners. So that's cute. And then we have all of these stickers. Um, these ones are like kind of puffy, so that's kind of fun. Oh, these are cool. These are like x-ray looking stickers. More x-ray kind of stickers. Okay, what do we have in here? Okay. This is the Tim Holtz stuff, so maybe I should wait a minute, but let's see here. I'm going to grab one of these, actually, because I don't see them out with the Tim Holtz stuff, and I feel like I might want one of these. We have skulls, eyeballs, resin skulls. These are kind of like charms. You know what? I think I saw these. Maybe the last time I was here, but I didn't realize they were Halloween. Adornments. I love these charms. I think these were out last year. Word bands. More tokens. Ooh, I like these tombstones. Okay, this is really cool. I think these, so these are metal gates. These I could see on the front of an album or a, a journal, whatever. That would be really fun. kind of funny. That could be really fun. I'm curious if they're blank on the back for like journaling cards. So this is the washi we have going on. Looks like there's one stuck up there. But These look very similar to last year's but I think they're also a little different. Okay and they do have more of these. So this is the collage paper which I have really really loved. So I was thinking about grabbing one in Halloween. Um, you almost have to buy this stuff now if you are going to want it. So they got the paper dolls, and I know there's some newer ones in here uh, compared to last year's. 
the ephemera pack. This is always fun. You can get a better idea here. Okay, and then we get down here and there are some framelits, dies, and stamps. So these comes with the stamps, the dies, and the embossing folders. So those are cool. I don't see a price here, but um, yeah. All right, and then we get down here. There's our recollections. Let's see, it says book pages. I think it's kind of like an ephemera pack. Again, I don't see the prices here, otherwise I'd let you guys know. His uh, Tim Holtz little text stickers. The fun little trinket cans. And then we have Tim Holtz paper. Okay, let's see if we can do a flip through. Oh, this looks fun. So this is definitely different than last year. There are acetate pages. Wow, really foiled. Very fun. Oops. Um, this is kind of flocked. So it's kind of fuzzy, I guess, if that makes sense. And it's really hard to flip through here, so hopefully this one right here, it's like fuzzy, flocked kind of thing. I'm going to have to get a pack of this. Okay, so yeah, that's really awesome. Let's see. A fun little house kit. What else do we have down here? Oh, and then... These look so fun to do. So I think that's about all for this side. I'm gonna grab a couple things here. Have some fall stickers over here. couple of things out over here. It looks like they're still putting stuff out, I guess. Die cuts. This, this is kind of a fun little pack because it does look kind of vintage. $5.99. Sorry guys, let me put that back on. And some more bigger die cuts. Just going to see. We have some more stickers over here. Looks like there are a few paper pads over here, so we'll go ahead and look at these. Moonlight, Moonlight Manor. Uh, yeah, it's the same one. I don't think it's the same. This one's foiled. That is pretty. See, again, I like the florals. Pocus Pocus. Uh, Hocus Pocus. So, it looks like there's like two of each. We have paper pad. What is this? Sorry guys, if I just had you out of frame there. Whoops. Okay, and then it looks like there are 12 by 12s of these as well. So let's do a flip through of this one real quick. So I'm really into some of the pages in here, like, okay, the florally ones, I really like that. But I'm not into the x-ray. I think it's really cool, but I personally wouldn't probably use those. But I like this right here. The florals again. I think you can make a really fun uh, book out of that journal. I keep calling it a book and an album. I don't know, guys. And they have this stupid charge. And the Hocus Pocus. Okay. 
the last thing I see on the Halloween little aisle here are the clear stamp and die sets. These are $9.99. And then down here, they have just the clear stamps, $9.99. Okay. <laughs> I like this one, the little pumpkin guy. Oh, the cat is so cute. A little x-ray people. What is this? That is definitely different. Huh. Okay, so I think that's all they have for Halloween here at Michael's, at least at my location. Definitely loving the Tim Holtz stuff and some of the stickers are really fun too.